Okay, here we are in 2024 with Gibri Volmer Fisman. Now we will present you our news, everything we have and uh, what we like to show you. Yeah, a great warm welcome from all of us to you. And uh, we start with the news of Volmer now. Yeah, we have some really, really nice uh, things um, in stone art and polyplate. Okay, let's uh, start with the stone art. The first uh, st stone art item is the side strip at uh, Volmer. Yeah, the layby is uh, perfectly for one bus. So it's a little bit deeper, wider, so the bus will perfect fit in. Or trucks maybe? Yeah, or trucks. It's better for trucks. The uh, normal layby we have is uh, perfect for cars. It's really good. But uh, if you have trucks or a bigger bus, then it, uh, it more needs more space. Mm. So we made one for the buses. Stone art is a really quite a new material, very special. Not so new, I would say, but it's really great to work with. So you cut and can cut it perfectly. You have really, really much details in it. So it's really, really nice to look at. And um, the feeling is also really great. It looks like a real street. Okay, okay. And there we have now an asphalt plate. Yeah, the asphalt plate is uh, for parking, for bigger parking place or you have something... On like a square? Yeah, like a square. If you have a bigger square, like you have a, a lot of parking places before a supermarket or something, then you can have lay that down and you don't have the, the strips beside them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good to know, good to know, good idea. And there is also a, a set of manhole covers. So why, why with manhole covers, 20 pieces? Yeah. <laughs> manhole covers you need if you have to uh, draw holes in the streets. Yeah. Then you need to cover them somehow, and uh, because of that, we have a method that maybe you because you have permanent magnets on ah, the street. It's a, it's a kind of the magnets you need for the car motion system. Yeah, and you need to cover them, so yeah. therefore they quite new items for stone art in relation to car motion. Yeah, okay. you can say it so. <laughs> Very interesting, yeah. And then we have a scrap loading station. You have a, that's also something maybe you can use with a truck. Or trains. <laughs> or trains, yeah, trains is also good. Or a truck, uh, what uh, goes under it, and then you can put some things on it. Yeah, but this is not moving. No, 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 it's not moving, it's stable, so... Uh, it's okay, not, it's, not, it's not one of the typical Fisman emotion items. Then it would be we both Fisman and not for Fulman. That's because quite logical, okay, okay. But maybe you can buy a motor or something and uh, put it together yourself too. And then we have a bride and a groom. Uh, what's yeah. about this new item? Okay, I'm a woman and woman likes to have weddings and maybe if we have a lot of uh, male customers. Maybe they want to make a little surprise for their wives because in every garden there is a little place or if you have restaurants on your uh, place, then maybe there in the garden you can have a little uh, wedding. wedding it's, it's a very nice small item. Very, very, yeah. very cute. Very cute. It's really, really nice. Okay. <laughs> It's really nice. Looks so very can, detailed. Yeah, it can. Uh, it's hand uh, painted. For and churches or be in the front of church. Yeah, you can have example. it for churches. Next, next chapter, uh, next to the stone art of Volma, we have polyplate. Uh, maybe we have some news for for polyplate or new buildings because, uh, as I know, there is a truck workshop. <laughs> yeah, the truck workshop is really cool. It's in yeah. HO. And um, it has also uh, perfectly fit to that. Uh, you can have it a little bit wider if you use the extensions. Yeah, with the extensions, it can be a lot wider. Uh -huh. so it can be large. Enlarged, yeah, it yeah, can be large. How, how long you have or how wide yeah. you want to have it. Um, and it's also really good for car motion, maybe, if you want to work on trucks. Yeah. And um, as I know, we have only HO items at this point, but maybe we have something for the, our customers from the Scale M. Yeah, for the Scale M. We also have this uh, truck uh, workshop worker. And, and it's also with, uh, with an extension. So it's also with the extension. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, all the uh, Scale N uh, builders are very happy to have some new it's, items it's here. Really it's really great, it's really detailed uh, because of the lot of details you can, it's really nice to look at it and it mm. it's really good to work at it, to glue, so yeah. it's, it's fun. And then the goat barn with goats. Uh. <laughs> Goats are just sweet. Okay, <laughs> what okay. I say? We have to have the goats at Falmer. <laughs> and um, that's the quick overview about the Falmer news in 2024 from us.
So, let's go ahead with the Kibri items 2024. Yeah, we have a little sweet church and a school. Uh, cottage Grove? Cottage Grove, yeah. Okay, so it's the American Scandinavian style. Yeah, Scandinavian sky for sure. It's uh, really nice and you have a uh, LED light. Uh, so there inside. is additional LED lighting for both of the buildings, okay. Yeah, it's um, inside the package. Uh, very good to know because very easy to mount if you have the LED lighting uh, quite when you're assembling the the, the product, the kit. Okay, yeah. um, so let's go ahead. There is a city hall, very nice building, very detailed. Yeah, you have really nice colors. And also a half timbered house. That's the... Yeah, you have here a little uh, walk in the city, in the, in the house. So it's really nice. You can put some figures yeah. there and it's really a lot of detail. That, that's the style we knew from the southern part of Germany of the Black Forest yeah. and... Uh, a little bit older building. It uh, used to be... It's a classical can, building. It's I a think, classical, yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay, and uh, I think these are very detailed, very uh, bright colors and uh, you can use them uh, for your uh, train plate um, in connection with also lightning. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it has no lighting included, but you can add some. So it's optional, optional. you can buy yeah. it separately yeah. and build in when you're assembling the, yeah, the yeah. kit. You okay. have the Fisman mm -hmm. products where you have the house lightning and then you can just put them in. And for every window you have a different color of lightning. For yeah. We also have a TV simulator, so you also can, it looks like you somebody's watching TV. Yeah, we can also show you the item of the, the, the Fisman um, lightning and that's uh, um, controlled by an electronic device so it's very detailed with the different colors and the tv simulation it looks like somebody is really at home <laughs> scary or <Scary>. not <laughs> <laughs> okay i think we can uh, go ahead with the next items for kibri yeah so we have here a wooden carport and a porch. Uh, what's about these items? Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, you can use it in combination of car motion because it's really good with uh, some trucks or you can also use it for farm uh, machines. They also collect them and uh, put them on the wood. Yeah, and they are standalone and you can also put it to a building Do yeah. you still have on your train plate. Sometimes you have a little bit play, uh, more place on the side um, on the green and then you put it on and then you have yeah, two small, small little small uh, details. devices and yeah. also you can uh, have a lightning for, for these if, if it's necessary yeah, or you, you think can put an evening light on and you can have a little evening scene it's really nice yeah LED lightning for them yeah. okay here's the porch and the porch you can put on each uh, house for example, as a veranda or a terrace or yeah. something that like is. Okay, yeah. and uh, as we mentioned for the Falmer customers, do we have also something for the end scalers uh, in Kipri? Yeah, we have a little surprise. Ta-da! So for our fans for the end scale from Kipri, a new item 2024 is this small set of the workshop installation. Yeah, so we have a drill machine, we uh, have a working pad. Okay, okay, okay. Quite interesting and very detailed also. Yeah, it's hand uh, painted, so it had a lot of details. Uh, yeah, it's really awesome. nice. Uh -huh. So I hope you will enjoy it and you can extend your, um, your houses with, or your workshops with these items yeah. to make it more realistic. Okay, and then comes the next part of our Kibri items in 2024. And this will be also special. Let's present you our new items. So let's keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Also buses and we have the VW Beetle. Yeah, the little Beetle, Herbie. Where do these items come from? Um, some of us uh, may have heard that we have bought the molds from AVM. Maybe some of you have heard that um, they have built some of these uh, buses, they have trucks, uh, a few cars. And uh, we bought the molds to also have the models, but also to add some new, new models to our car motion. Okay, but uh, these are now white. Why are they uh, in white colored? Um, some, maybe not all from the train sector will know that, but uh, a lot of people from the car collecting may know that the white ones is really great to put your own color, put your own design on it. So it's really nice if you have this in white color, it's really a great ground to paint 
and print on it. So these are basic models and the customers can decide for themselves how they yeah. want to uh, design them. Yeah, we have them in uh, finished models or in... Or also a kit. Uh, yeah. And we are also very excited what we can do with these things uh, for the car motion system. Yeah. But this is another topic that belongs to FISMON, so please uh, uh, follow us and also uh, stay interested in um, what we can present you with the FISMON items or especially car motion items later on. Okay. Thank you. This were the Kibri items in 2024, and we go now ahead with FISMON. So, now we have the FISMAN items for 2024, and we will start with three uh, semaphores. Um, we have an Austrian one. Uh, we have an Austrian one, a German one, and uh, someone from Switzerland. So, and where do we get these uh, signals uh, from? Um, some of uh, you may know the uh, signals from Alpha Model. Alpha model was really, uh, had really details, a lot of details, uh, really nice signals and uh, a lot of them like them. And um, because of um, death there is uh, no more of these alpha signals, but we had uh, the luck that we can get the molds yeah. from alpha model. So we hope we can uh, deliver forward the, the product. A little bit different, a little bit uh, different in um, details. We had to little work overwork them. They are also from brass? The yeah. Masts. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, they, the, that's all that uh, what stays the same. The uh, cylinder-based socket will stay? We, this we will have stay, yeah, yeah, for sure that will stay. So you can uh, change yeah. your old ones. It's, yeah. uh, it, it will. Yeah. Alpha okay. model was, was very uh, known for this uh, Switzerland, also Austrian uh, si yeah. signals. We, we are, now we are introducing just three, in, uh, one in each land. Uh, but in the future, we hope we can uh, also present the other ones what uh, Alpha Model had. So we have one for Switzerland, one for Austria, from from German of the signals, and we will continue these in in the, in the future. Okay. Yeah, we hope so. But we need a little time to uh, overwork the uh, production from these. Then, as we mentioned, uh, a product also for the end scalers at Kibri and Vollmer. We have also a product for the end scalers at Fisman. Yeah, we have a little end signal, light signal. Root indicator blinking signal, okay. So for all the end scalers, uh, please check it out. And here is also a picture of this, you can see it. And uh, it's, I think it, it, it runs uh, very uh, um, successfully in HO scale. So we thought about maybe it's something for our end scale customers. And uh, back to HO, uh, we call it house number with LED lightning. What is this? Yeah, the house number with LED lighting, you can uh, customize your own house number. And uh, I don't know if in other countries and some of them, they have this modern silver lights where the postman can see your number. And this one is yes, a perfect uh, fit for the cubist houses. So it's, it's not enough to light the houses by themselves, the, the windows, uh, it's also the, the number of the houses yeah, also lighted. Yeah, because it's really nice. Very, you very can, fancy. You can build your own house and have your own Very, own very fancy. Okay, so we started with these, with these kind of uh, stuff. And now we had at uh, the beginning from Falmer, Stoner, some very related items to Carmotion. And here we start with the... Uh, so-called speed cameras. Yeah, speed cameras, we all know them. We don't like them. <laughs> no. The, the, most of us don't like them. Very and expensive we, stuff. Yeah, they're, they're really expensive uh, pictures of us, so we don't like them. And we thought maybe it would be fun to have that and small and you don't have to pay for the pictures. No, you have only paid <laughs> for the traffic, <laughs> yeah. uh, for the speed cameras. <laughs> so, okay. So you can be the government and do just uh, put down the speed cameras and uh, then you can just make pictures. And another topic relating to car motion is emotion. Uh, what kind of figures do we have for our customers? Yeah, we have a special girl with special services. Special girl with special services. Special girl with special server in a special look. Um, yeah, for the truckers, they love to stop and. Uh, Maybe we have later, we can show by car motion a car oh, or something sound. like that. And it would be great if then a girl can talk with the driver. Sounds very funny, really very funny. And uh, then we have to control them also. So there is a policeman. Yeah, the policeman is for the speed camera. 
blink stand uh, a few meters behind that, there He's will be the, the, policeman. the policeman. Okay. And uh, he will have a little red light what shows the commotion cars maybe for That's going out. Quite uh, suitable. But we have also the train lovers and for the train lovers we have the wagon inspector. Yeah. He has a little hammer and with this hammer he um, can hear by the sound that uh, the wheel makes when you hit it, that uh, it has a crack or something. He checks the wheel, the quality of the wheel? Yeah, by the sound. So okay. he makes okay. a, gives a little dong and uh, then yeah. you can hear by sound if the, it has a crack or it's uh, good. So we have three different kind of figures, but then we have also uh, an animal. Yeah, a little cow. <laughs> a cow, okay, a and cow. the cow makes moo. Yeah, the cow makes moo. <laughs> Shaking the head. Yeah, we love because of the, we had the black white one and now we want to have the brown one as well because yeah. not everybody has the classic. And in a few years we have the lila one from Milka. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we stay with the brown one first. And uh, the next item we have for customers from the Emotion series is an electric charging station with LED lightning. Yeah, it has LED lights on both sides, mm -hmm. so it's uh, perfect for a parking place. Or you can uh, have it by side from a car motion charger, but it's also perfect for the Kubus houses. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of the modern items for the new Epoch 6. Yeah. Good to know. I think we are, uh, presented you now a lot of uh, Fisman items and we will have a separate chapter for car motion mm -hmm. for all the customers who want to follow us. Please check out uh, the car motion. For all the customers who are interested in car motion, we have now the new items for car motion 2024. Uh, we present them in English. It's also a, a, a new thing for us. Um, and uh, we start with a special. Yeah, the little bug. The little bug, the beetle. <laughs> the beetle, yeah, we have the beetle uh, for car motion. So we have a, a lot of pieces finished. This is uh, some pro uh, prototype. We are working on the lights, but I will follow soon. So this will be the first car. So it's small much car. more difficult to run such a small car on the track than a bus or a truck. Yeah, you have a less place uh, under the car so you have uh, to fit in a really really small place and we started with the most difficult car I think somehow you can imagine because of the form of the car. And it's also working with the inductive uh, charging? You need the inductive charging because the battery capacity is so low that you have just uh, 30 minutes to play with so you need the induction to have a uh, more playtime. If you say you want to just run it for 30 minutes, then it's okay. But if you play a little bit, want to play a little bit longer and don't charge so much, then the inductive tar uh, charging is printed uh, between the PCB layers. So you need some of the chargers on the plate. Yeah. You can uh, position, uh, make positions on different places on the plate and then he can run from position to position, from charger to charger. Yeah. So for a half hour it uh, runs stable, but uh, after an hour, a half hour you have to go to charging. So because of that you can, it's it's not this the big playtime yeah. like the like the big uh, trucks. So um, as you as you mentioned, uh, this car is, works good together with the charger, and the charger is uh, something we tested with our testers and the charger was also coming on the market. It's a new item, 2024 also, and you can uh, uh, see the charger, which is a game changer for all the, all the customers. Yeah, it's a game changer because uh, if you want to run cars and cars with all the function, because we want to put all the car functions you have in a normal truck, we also put them in, a, in this little beetle. So we have the lights, we have the distance control, we have the charging, we have we have so much, uh, all functions, really, you, with, with the uh, remote, you can also put the speed on and uh, it's really, really a lot of electronic what needs to fit in this little place. So, just for understanding, the charger is not only a charger, so he has a bi-directional communication uh, between the car and the charger or between the truck and the charger. The charger by self communicates with the charger 
by charging because you need to have the car in a perfect position. If you just charge, if you put your mobile phone and you put it a little bit beside over the charger, it says it, it could not charge. And you know by hand, you put it in the right direction. Our cars do this positioning by themselves. So the car just say, hey, are you there? Uh, it goes, it goes, it goes, it drives a little bit and then it says, oh, you're in the perfect fit. So and, please stay. And the charger is able to communicate while they are charging. Yeah, they also, because you have a really good um, management of the battery capacity. So because of that, they have to talk to each other. Because at the beginning, the charger gives a lot of energy, but then it goes too hot. And the other thing, it's not so good for, to fill with full speed for the battery. So for long lasting battery, you have a good managing of battery management. Yeah. And because of that, in the beginning, the energy level is really, really high. Then it gets lower and it also after the car by very inductive wires that uh, are you how, how, how much is your capacity? So it's a kind of self-care. The charger and the car are protecting their selves. Yeah. And yeah, each other. And each other. And each other. That's quite a good idea. So we talked about a car. We talked about a charger. Um, but a, the, a lot of customers also want to control car motion uh, on an analog way, but um, some of them want to have uh, a little bit complex uh, control of the car motion system. What can you say to this uh, um, question? For, for those things, we have the ER Mini, and the ER Mini is really, really good for a lot of things to. Uh, for the, for the figures to have them on the side to communicate for simple simpler questions we have the ear mini but for communication with the central station and uh, if you really want to communicate more with the car we have the other um, we have the uh, traffic and the traffic smart the ear mini is just something what sends information so it has the infrared and it, just the sender. it has just the sender. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a rem, uh, receiver. Has a receiver. So the receiver, uh, when you want to go, uh, work with receivers, example, on a traffic light, there is a fire car. If you have the fire, fire brigade, brigade, for example, the fire brigade doesn't wait for the green light. So if it uh, yeah. has to work, then it needs to go. And, uh, but you, the, the, the traffic or the yeah, Mini doesn't know that there is a traffic. He a cannot identify car. it by yeah. itself. He yeah. cannot identify the cars. Also, if you want to have uh, some car to go to the charger, it doesn't know how, how full is your capacity. So it doesn't can make the, the way to the right to go to the parking place where mm -hmm. the charger is. So for these cases, we have the traffic smart. The traffic smart has also a, a receiver. You just don't you don't just have the, the sender. You also has the receiver. The receiver gets the information from the cars. Hey, how much is your capacity? What kind of car are you? We can um, make marks on the car manager on how which which car are you? Are you on? Do you work? So when a fire car comes and it's not in, it doesn't work, then it stands on the traffic light normal as other cars. But if it has a, a working light on, then it will stand and it goes forward if you have the information with the receiver. And uh, next, next topic uh, to additional to this is uh, when you overtake somebody or you want to go to the bus lane, we saw the Falma item, the stripe, uh, the waiting stripe, uh, the uh, two free way turnout. Uh, what can you say or can you show us something? How about these works? Because a lot of customers uh, solved it with uh, items from other manufacturers, but for the car motion system, we have to have our own two free way turnout. And uh, now we have these also as a new item. Yeah, we have also that. We have doesn't we have this little thing here, and uh, this is now the normal for, uh, with, uh, hand, control. hand control. So the hand control you can see here. You just have a little wire on the side, and it goes down, and you can control it by hand. So it has no electricity. It's for a really simple way, or you have uh, some little place where you have children, and they can play with it. So really simple. But then you have the other version where you can have a motor inside and then the motor controls it. It's not a servo motor, 
It's a DC motor. DC controlled motor, okay. Yeah. But it shows how flexible the commotion system is. You can, as a beginner, uh, control it by hand. And if you are an expert, you can control it uh, fully automatically. Yeah. So and, the difference, range, uh, and the difference is really, really smooth. So you don't, it's not so, this is digital and this is analog. So these uh, yeah. hard lines are not there. That, uh, that is quite good to hear because if uh, you're thinking about to install car motion, you can uh, have a, the few devices, you can have a, a very sm smooth movement on, on the plate and we, we call it, uh, uh, we care about motion, we are car motion. Um, the movement on the, on the train plate, which is not longer only train plate, it can be also a plate for uh, uh, this place where there are also only cars moving uh, as a quite good alternative for all the model builders. Yeah, or for the younger people, the younger people who doesn't have seen a lot of uh, trains, so they are growing up with cars, so for them, car motion is a little is a much good bigger. Good alternative, okay, yeah. okay. Sounds quite interesting. So we had, uh, we had this, we had the charger, and the, the other thing is the wire, the magnet wire. A lot of customers are, are asking because of the wire, some need a brass wire or something from steel, or we have the magnet wire. And there are the, the, the layer, the thickness of the layer of the magnet wire. We have now the small one with a half millimeter. Yeah, the half millimeter is a lot smaller, so you can put it on the table. You don't have to put it in the table, which is a big advance. If you want to have just a little layer done, you have a little paper by side, and then you just put a car motion, the former street on it, and then you have a really nice uh, plate. Yeah, so form a stone art on, on the magnet wire, and then it, it works. We're also working on our own stone art street, where you have uh, already the places mm -hmm. for the wire. So we will have soon the, uh, the suitable uh, Falmer stone art streets for the system and then you uh, install the magnet tape on the table, you put the stone art streets on it and then it works. Yeah. That sounds quite easy, very, very easy. Yeah, we okay. want to make it really easy for the customers. And for those who like it a little bit complicated, we also have a, a lot of kits for the do-it-yourself customers. So we, we talked about this little beetle, it's just really a nice and very smart, smart item. We are very proud on it, but we have also some starter sets for the older generation. Yeah, we have uh, starter sets for bus and for trucks. This is, will be our base as well. If we want to make complete buses, we have already complete uh, trucks, but for the buses we also need them. And we have a, there are a few people who can use this special really high-end kits for themselves and they make from these cars. So when I understand, uh, there are small items like the ankles, like the engine, you can buy separately and then you can put that into your own car you have at home. Yeah. The assembling is not so easy? The assembling is not so easy. Uh, you have to be really, really high class. And, Experienced. Uh, experience uh, okay. in assembling cars like that. I had customers who told me they have worked 500 hours on one car. So for them, it will be perfect that they have the starter kit and they can yeah. build their own cars. For the other, we would like to have a little But I, I, I think it's a, it's a good mix between uh, products from us, which are ready to buy and ready to use, and then an alternative for, for those customers who are really experienced, as you mentioned, yeah. who can use them for their own cars and then you can make your dream truck, your <laughs> dream car, your dream bus by yourself. Yeah. yeah. So there will be a lot of items, there will become a lot of uh, finished yeah. models as well. So you don't just need have to, but you need to have a little patience. And it wait. sounds like we really care about motion. <laughs> Yeah, Car we do, we do for sure. Okay, sounds really good, okay. And uh, thank you for the informations and I hope you enjoyed it. We have uh, on Facebook groups for our Car Motion users. So if you want to enjoy these groups, there are also a lot of Car Motion customers who are uh, telling their experience, mostly in German, but they are also open-minded for, for English or customers over the, the whole world in uh, which uh, language you ever speak, I think you will find the answer in these groups. So uh, follow us also on Facebook. Bye. Thank you.